Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and this is late September 2022. We're in Vancouver, British Columbia, near Gastown. We're, we're at the Vancouver Police Museum. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This place has been high on my list for a long time. This is one of those I knew that uh, when I made it back to Vancouver, I wanted it to visit here. Um, it's, it's, um, it's definitely educational. It's interesting. It's weird. Uh, it's a little dark, to be honest. Um, I'm sure this is on Roadside America and other uh, websites like that. But it's very interesting, and I just thought I'd put up a very brief video to whet your appetite and let you know that this is definitely a place to, to put on your bucket list. And just just very quickly... Looking at Wikipedia, it says the Vancouver Police Museum and Archives, formerly Vancouver Police Centennial Museum, opened to commemorate the centennial of the Vancouver Police Department and the city of Vancouver, B.C. in 1986. The museum is housed in a building that was purpose-built in 1932 for use by the city coroner's services and includes the coroner's court, morgue, and autopsy facilities until 1980. And you're going to see some of that stuff here shortly. It's uh, it's still there. They've uh, they've got that stuff. You can look at it. And in fact, they, they've got some, I don't know how to say it, organic material from crimes. And they have a whole wall kind of showing, you know, here's here's what happened to this and uh, here's what it looks like. It's 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 fascinating and um, definitely different. And it's it's a small museum. You can uh, physically you could cover it, you know, in just a few minutes. You could probably walk a lap in it, you know, slowly in under four or five minutes. But they have a ton of info on you know the riots, you know, racial issues, sex work, things like that. A lot of counterfeit stuff. They've uh, and had some of that kind of info. And you can kind of look and see what's here. But they've, they've got some interesting displays. And a lot of information on famous crimes. In fact, towards the back, and we'll see this again here shortly too, they have um, kind of information on some of the more famous crimes that have happened in the area. And they tell, you know, here's here's some evidence. They, they actually have pieces of evidence from some of those specific crimes just just very fascinating very open i would say too and if you know if you read books on true crime if you're interested in true crime uh vancouver is a fascinating city with a lot of uh, history and a lot of information about their past i th thought i would mention a couple books that i read actually actually to, to kind of get ready for this trip uh, Dead Ends, B.C. Crime Stories by Paul Wilcox, and also Cold Case Vancouver, The City's Most Baffling Unsolved Murders by Eve Lazarus. Uh, definitely recommend both of those books. They're interesting and uh, lots of information about crime in the area and some of the more famous cases. And I'm, I know uh, one of the more famous cases that any book on Vancouver crime will uh, cover is the the very famous Babes in the Wood murders, which happened. Um, a couple of bodies were found in Stanley Park, in. Um, they believe the murders were about 1947, and those um, particular murders were unsolved, and they're still technically unsolved. But uh, you know, with with the uh, advancements in DNA. They know who the victims were. I think most people have assumed, you know, you can put two and two together and figure out, you know, who the perp was also. So, anyway, fascinating case. They do have a whole display on that here. And I, I want to say the, the children's uh, skulls might have been on display here at one time, too. I think they have uh, castings now um, on display but extremely fascinating case. And I know before we planned this trip, I started thinking about that case and it hit me, you know, with DNA, I bet they've solved it. And I Googled around and found out that they had. 
uh, extremely interesting story if you want to look it up. One thing that threw a lot of investigators off was an error in the gender of one of the children. Um, and, and again, when you're bored, look that story up. But they've uh, they do have a whole display on it here. We would take a um, we would take a tour of Stanley Park, and that that case was not discussed on the tour. But I did talk to the tour guide about it, and I'll, I'll probably put up a video of that later. But yeah, here's some here's some more info on other cases. And again, you know some of the uh, evidence and uh, and more on some of those crimes. Yeah, there's there's about the babes. In the wood in the woods case, and uh, it's it's one of those sad stories that kind of haunts you. And they uh, again they have uh, I believe those are castings. Uh, I don't believe those are the real things that you're looking at, but yeah, same same there. And anyway, very interesting case. And, and, and again, this is a great museum. They they. Um, they kind of don't hold their punches. They, you know, you go in here, you're looking at stuff, and it's a bit of a wallop to the face. They're uh, talking pretty openly about some dark and sad crimes, and again, they've got they've got that evidence displayed right there. Very friendly staff here. I, I don't want to say we had a good time at this museum, but we had a good time. It was, again, interesting. Uh, it is in the Gastown area. And we did drive through Hastings, uh, Hastings Street, I believe, to get here. I, I filmed a little bit of that. I'll put some of that video up too. Yeah, and again, that that's the real deal. That's not that's not for show. That's stuff that was uh, actually used. And I'm sure you know what that uh, that is. But yeah, we drove through Hastings, and that's um, another interesting and controversial area slash topic. Um, for Vancouver, and uh, I've listened to several podcasts and read about uh, the people who basically live on and around Hastings, um, you know, issues with homelessness and drug use. Our Uber driver told us that the government provides for those people, so you're relatively safe, he felt, if you walk amongst them, you know, they've, they've got what they need. Yeah, again, more. That's the, more the real deal. They uh, they did autopsies in this room, and they've still got uh, whew, got the stuff set in there for you to see. But yeah, it's close to Hastings, and that's uh, just just a fascinating area too, from a sociological standpoint. Um, in fact, if you have any thoughts on Hastings, you know, as someone who doesn't live in this area, I would uh, you know, if you live in Vancouver and you're around the Hastings area, I would love to hear your opinion. And I know opinions very widely. But yeah, back to the police museum. You could spend, oh heck, you could spend days here. Yeah, displays even even leading up to the museum. They had what I would call a, a few bookshelves of books, kind of a little gift shop area, you know, where you buy your ticket. I like that. And again, this is an area that I just I enjoy reading up on it. Yeah, there's a Vancouver uh, cop car, and we're by the police station. Uh, they also were selling, and I've seen other police stations do this. They were selling little plush dogs, I believe. To ra yeah, those guys, check them out. And they were twenty bucks each. Uh, I actually bought one for me, and I bought one for a friend back home who was who was watching our dogs. Um, and I think that's to raise money to help uh, get dogs for the force. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know what you think about the uh, Vancouver Police Museum.